Hello and welcome to another practice session of immunology. This is the third practice session of immunology. You can get all other two sessions in the I button. There would be 10 questions, 10, 20 minutes as usual, and we'll start just after some time. But before that, let me tell you that if you're preparing for IIT JAM, CSIR NED, CAT B, CUCT, these kind of practice sessions would be really useful. And if you want to know that where you can possibly practice MCQ question, which majority of you guys have a question, and where you can possibly learn all these concepts, because many of the cases, your college professors don't teach it so well. So if you want to know about that, let me tell you, An Academy is providing guidance for IIT JAM, CAT B, and many other entrance examination. There are dedicated batch for these examinations. For example, if you're practicing for biotechnology, there would be an achiever practice batch. If you're practicing for physics, there would be another dedicated batch for it. So all of these batches are dedicated for your preparation. The educators would really guide you throughout this process. You just need to download the app. You can use my code AP10 to get a 10% discount. Then you can start learning from these educators, which would make your journey easier. So why wait? Just enroll right now. Okay, let's move on to the questions. These questions are from immunology sections and in IIT JAM, they ask quite a lot of questions from immunology. Majority of these questions are easy, so you know how to tackle it. And there is a high chance that they are going to ask some questions from antigen antibody interaction, something related to antibody, which is super important. So let's look at all of these things in this video. So which of the following Ig is involved in mediating allergic reaction? Now, this is one of the very common question, but yeah, they do ask this question. So this would be IgE. IgE is the least abundant antibody and it is required for allergic reaction. If you want to know how IgE is involved in allergic reaction or type 1 hypersensitivity reaction, your answer is in the I button. The major chemical messenger involved in hypersensitivity is or type 1 hypersensitivity is interleukins, lymphokines, histamines, interferons. So the major messenger that is mediating type 1 hypersensitivity or allergic reaction is histamine. Remember when you have allergy you take antihistamines so, allergy is very important topic when it comes to IIT JAM or any other entrance examination. Moving on to the next question. Which of the following types of hypersensitive reaction includes anti antibody mediated responses? Type 1, type 2, type 3 and all of these. If you have guessed correctly, the correct answer would be all of these. So all of these involve some sort of like antigen antibody interaction and if you want to learn more about it you can get it in the i button about all the hypersensitivity reactions which one of the following is cell mediated hypersensitivity reaction this is again very important because many of uh, many a times they have asked this question and this is type 4 delayed hypersensitivity which does not involve antigen antibody mediated responses they involve t cells and this is really important especially th1 cells the inability to distinguish between self cells and non self cells may lead to hypersensitivity autoimmune diseases immunodeficiency tolerance so when our immune system cannot detect between self versus non self then it attacks our own body own cells and this is called autoimmune responses. Now there is tolerance mechanism that prevents the chances of autoimmune responses. If you want to learn more about that, click on the line, link in the I button. Now then there is another question. Majority of autoimmune diseases are cell mediated, antibody mediated, macrophage mediated, mast cell mediated. So majority of the autoimmune diseases you would find auto antibodies, antibodies that recognize your own protein or host protein which are not supposed to be recognized so it is antibody mediated next question is all of the following are autoimmune disorders except graves disease scid rheumatoid arthritis addison's disease so let me tell you if you have guessed correctly this would be option b scid or severe combined immunodeficiency is not an autoimmune disease this disease is actually a immunodeficiency disease 
and want to learn more about it you can get it in the i button all of the follow i mean these format of question is very important because this specific format and these specific names are asked in iit jam or a cat b or other msc level entrance exam all of the following are immunodeficiency disorders except so they would say scid d george syndrome hyper igm syndrome and graves disease so let me tell you in the previous option we saw grave disease was a autoimmune disorder so obviously this is the correct answer for this particular question hiv attacks which of the following cell types t helper cells cytotoxic t cells b cell and macrophages so if you know hiv life cycle you would know it would attack the helper t cell when b lymphocyte has been selected by t dependent antigen there are two types of antigen thymus dependent thymus independent which one of the following activities is dependent on t lymphocytes proliferation of b lymphocytes expression of b cell class 2 mhc molecule generating the diversity of b cell antigen receptor expression of cell surface igm you have guessed it correctly so the correct answer would be proliferation of the b lymphocyte whenever there is a t lymphocyte mediated activation of b lymphocyte the b cells would start proliferating and eventually they would be differentiated towards plasma cells specific antibody producing plasma cells and in that duration there would be somatic hypermutation and class switching these processes would happen now if you want to learn more about it all the links would be provided in the i button so click on the i button so i hope this video was informative we solved 10 questions in a span of overall 20 minutes so don't forget to like share and subscribe and do let me know in the comment whether it was helpful or not thank you